My name is Keishu Asada, and I am a technician at the Computational Neuroethology Unit. We're looking after octopuses, squids, and cuttlefish. This is a juvenile octopus. The species is called Octopus incella. This is a small octopus that lives in intertidal zones here in Okinawa, and it was actually discovered here back in 2005. It's a fairly uncommon species and very, very understudied, not very well known at all. When you encounter them, often they are not even in the water. So if you go at night, in the winter, at low tide, you will find these octopuses often crawling around between tide pools on top of the rocks. They have a, a nice kind of subtle camouflage pattern that personally I, I find kind of appealing. It's kind of this uh, kind of green and brown mottled thing. It looks like algae or lichen growth on, on the rocks. The polka dots you see here are the chromatophores, pigment-filled sacs. Uh, they're controlled with uh, nerves and muscles. Most cephalopods can basically change their body patterns, their, their body colors, by expanding and contracting these chromatophores. And when cephalopods are young, the chromatophores are very underdeveloped, so you can kind of you can see individual chromatophores like you can in this photograph. And as they grow older, the resolution on the body, on the skin, so to speak, increases, and then they get to the point where they become capable of very dense and complex body patterns. The photograph itself is not necessarily a, a high-tech technical sort of photograph. This is taken through a tank wall, a tank uh, through the glass of a hatchling sort of like beginning to settle. When they're born, they have a two to four week sort of planktonic stage. So the baby octopuses are sort of floating around. They're free swimming, they're very transparent, but gradually they start to settle. They begin to rest on the bottom. They stick to hard surfaces. They transition to the more familiar bottom dwelling lifestyle. This photo is taken of an animal uh, very shortly after that transition. I think octopuses and cephalopods in general, I think they're very, very photogenic. They almost always make a nice picture.